Okay, uh, tonight we're going to learn a little bit about Kindle. Um, and actually, not too long ago, I went overseas and I, um, uh, it was a trip that consisted of 10 hour flight and 15 hour train ride. And I took one book that I was finishing reading, I took another one that I wanted to start reading, and then I just took that just, just in case book. So it was a hefty pile of books. To make a um, story short, I, end, I never came back with them books. They actually stayed overseas. And eventually, a couple months later, I ended up purchasing Kindle. Um, so uh, we all enjoy books because we love reading, pretty much. Kindle does not offer the experience of books because it's not a book. It goes, it, it's an e-book that uh, provides you with, uh, you know, that uh, enhances your reading experience and provides so much more that goes beyond just reading. Um, also looking at the fact that, you know, um, moving on to the, the tech review actually identified that Kindle is the best ebook reader in years to appear on the market. And like iPod, it could be the tipping point in a whole new way to access a popular media, in this case, books. And it's a great product already. And, you know, it offers something for everybody as far as uh, portability and convenience. Uh, library of books that store in one location, as well as uh, the, the uh, personalized tools that make reading easier. So we're going to focus on the first aspect of portability, portability and convenience. You know, you're going on a trip and you want something to read with you, and um, you have all your luggage and baggage, and you end up taking uh, your favorite uh, book. On average, um, you know, 700 page book is about 1.3 pounds. Imagine carrying actually three of those. Um, and um, yeah, uh, what Kindle does actually, it provides, it's much smaller and convenient, it's small to size, in size, and it actually uh, is thinner than your pencil, and most uh, iPhones actually. And it's important to understand, uh, uh, to understand that it is convenient and portable. And actually, an inter uh, Nancy Almain wrote an, inter uh, wrote an article about uh, how a study group that was done, and they talked about, the individuals talked about the pros and co uh, cons of Kindle, and they actually identified that portability and size is, is a certain, it's big advantage for Kindle, and they really like that fact that it's thin and light, it's only 9.1 uh, millimeters thin, 7.5 ounces, and instead of you, you know, having one book, you really have uh, capacity to um, have 11 book, uh, 1,100 books. Um, uh, also, the interview that I've done uh, with an individual that actually introduced me to Kindle, and uh, the reason why I ended up buying Kindle, his name is Joe, and he actually really uh, felt strongly that it is superior to his competition because it's relatively small, and it, it holds a lot, uh, there's a lot of capacity that it holds as far as you don't have to carry the thick, uh, smaller books that are really thick, and he really liked it. And um, that's pretty much what led me to buy my Kindle eventually because I didn't want to do another trip where I had to carry three books that I wanted to read at that time, especially a 25 hour trip. And um, another ask, uh, the next thing that we will talk about, um, the, the access to variety of books you know, that you can buy. And uh, Kindle actually offers for you to, it's, it's a library that you can carry with you. You can browse uh, a bunch of titles, thousands of titles, and you technically have access to uh, 180,000 Kindle uh, exclusive titles. Also, another uh, popular feature is Lending Library Now. Uh, Prime members can uh, choose from more than 270,000 of, of titles, and there is no uh, deadline for you to return it. You read it at your own pace. And you instantly uh, can use Wi-Fi to you know, sample the books in the Amazon uh, store. And it takes about, it takes about Six, uh, under a little bit under s 60 seconds for you to have the book in your device. So it's very uh, beneficial as far as you don't have to carry a lot of books. Um, also, uh, one of the, let talk a little bit about sharing, fa uh, sampling factor. It actually was interesting to find out that uh, editor of Extreme Tag, he actually bought a Kindle and he ended up using it. And he actually mentions a sampling books before you buy them, read the first chapter, is a huge advantage that uh, e-books actually have over regular books. And, you know, there's so many books out there, and you don't know what you really want to buy, 
So well, after you actually do the sampling, you kind of know if uh, he ended up actually buying the books that he probably wouldn't have bought otherwise. And I actually interviewed a first, first time user that actually allowed for a couple days to use my Kindle. And he actually enjoyed it very much. And he said sampling, it was a huge thing for him. Um, another thing that uh, Kindle, uh, you know, Kindle is really different from books. It's a personalized tools that Kindle offers. A uh, easy to navigate toolbar that offers, you know, customize, you can customize your text, you can navigate your book and explore your book. Um, and there's much more, but we'll focus just on the few. So customization, you can uh, adjust your font, you, uh, bigger, larger, different font. You can really move the lines around and margins, which is really customization per your exact, how you feel that day, you, you know, easier on your eyes or not. Um, there's another uh, feature that's quite relatively new. It allows users to explore the book. It uh, gives you a breakdown of significant characters and terms. If anybody reads Games of Thrones, there's so many characters you really get, get lost in that. So it's actually really convenient. And there's more. There, you can add notes, and uh, like you use margins, just like uh, you, know, you would do a regular book. There's a dictionary. You don't have to even leave the book. You can actually um, you know, highlight it and see exactly what you, you know, what the word means makes it not only convenient but educational and uh, there's a level of personalization with that. So in conclusion, you know, we used to write letters, but what do we do now? We type emails and you know, because it's convenient and portable for us, uh, we used to, you know, you uh, listen to boomboxes and do uh, tapes and you know, mixtapes, and what do we do now? We listen to iPods, you know, MP3 players, and we're able to uh, customize our library. And we still do read books, and that's great. But we, but now we can really, you know, take it to the next level and, you know, uh, experience books in a different way. Uh, you know, portable. It's portable. There's a library of books that you store in one one device, and you know, you never have to leave your favorite reads behind. As well as, you know, personalization tools really make it easier, and it's educational in some way. And as simple as that. Thank you.